So last week, I showed you how I sampled Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater. And this week, I wanted to take it up and show you how I sampled another video game, Persona 5, Behind the Mask. And this song is so good. If y'all anyone knows me, I love jazz. I love just any jazz music. It's, it's just one of my favorite genres of music. So sampling this was a lot of fun. This is back in 2019, so it's a little bit more recent than the Metal Gear Solid one. But again going through that if you want me to if you want me to go do a series like this let me know in the chat with that being said let's get started chill squad what it do welcome back to the channel if you're not part of the chill squad what are you doing real quick let me know in the chat where you're watching from we did this last week it's really cool it's a good way for me to get to know y'all and i would love to talk to y'all a little bit more so let me know who you're watching in the chat all right so we're going to break this down first pattern 13 you see there's an eight bar loop right here and you can tell it's just a regular loop but what i did to add a little bit of a create creative effect to it was i added a filter to it so that it'll have its own type of feel to it So as you can see, the beat drop was perfect on this one. And before I let y'all hear pattern one, I just want to put it in pattern mode so we can just go through this a little bit easier. So this is the drum pattern I have for this. Don't judge me. Just how I set up my step sequencer and everything. And that's that's just a me thing. Um, Persona one is the the sample uh, cut that I used. And as you can see, similar to Metal Gear Solid three. I like to keep my ones and my threes relatively consistent, but my twos and fours, I like to change up a little bit. This way, it could create some sense of fun listening to this. So we're gonna touch on a few things here. This five sounds the way it does because let's go right here. I have so many effects on this. Now, as you can tell, some effects I have automated, but I have the phaser on and the stereo shaper that's really affecting how the sample sounds. It really transformed the sample in a way where it doesn't sound anywhere jazzy. This has, like as I said, it has like a like a little little primo effect to it but let's let's keep listening so with that the thing that really stuck out the most with this as you could probably tell is the baseline and right here i use contact i used um do, 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 do. The Scrobby's Rick, Rickenbacker bass. Um, I think, yeah, it was Scrabby Rickenbacker bass. I had to re-put this in because Contact 5, for me, um, what was when I first made this, and I had to switch this to Contact 6. So I had to re-put in the bass lines right before starting. I'm going to change this to the palm muted and everything. Like, why not? So with this... I want y'all to listen. So all, all that I did here was I made sure that the baseline that I made was supporting the already the already made baseline in the sample. So this way it got a little bit more presence. And I put my last slice to be 16 right here so that no matter what it's going if, it's, if i have the last slice of my loop to be at 16 in my beginning slice to be at one it's going to always be a perfect loop so if i can make sure my first note is one and my last note is 16 and i can make sure that i can create a melody in between that that melody is always going to loop and that's why i made it this way now Verse uh, pattern five is a very is very similar. So 
So the reason why I did that is because the baseline and pattern find switches up just enough to make it a little bit more interesting, you know? And when I go to pattern four now, I because this is a 24 and out of 16, I was determined on making this as interesting as possible. So you see this little white bar here? That's because I put a filter there to kind of give the beat a feel that makes it a little bit more creative. It stands out a little bit more. Let's see, let's hear it. So, and as you can see, I pretty much just follow that same pattern all the way through. But pattern six is a little bit different because it leads right into the hook and the hook is a little bit different. So. So right here, you can hear the hook and you see the hook. I didn't do nothing special. I let the hook roll with my baseline. Uh, you can see the baseline I have set up right here to follow along with the baseline of the hook. Got my drums in a different pattern. Now with the second verse, the first eight bars, I filtered out a little bit just to give a build up effect. And again, with me, I want to make sure beats are interesting. So this is how it sounds. So as you can hear, I didn't add the baseline to contact on there because the filter that I added on already gives the bass a little bit more of a boost. So I didn't need to add my own baseline to that. And that's pretty much how I sample Persona 5. Uh, it really continues on pretty much to do the same thing and it closes out and does the same thing. So this is how I sample Persona 5. And I want to just let y'all know, like, let me know if this is a series that you all would want to see me do. If you want to see more games that I've sampled that could do more series like this, I'm going to keep doing this on Tuesdays. And if there's some games that you want me to sample, and you want me to see how I would sample it rather and just get my take on it. I'll be open to seeing those, too. And we'll create a brand new one. 20, 2024 version gets me back and using FL Studio. And matter of fact, I'll keep it in FL. This will be FL studio content this won't be uh machine content but this will be fl content so those of you who love fl studio those people who love machine we are going to bring you both home at the same time so let me know in the chat this works for you if you haven't seen the metal gear solid one check it out right here you don't got to search it up it's right here for you go ahead check it out let me know what you think and i'll catch you on the next one peace